hello hello beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is d if you're new here hit that subscribe button and join our family if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back and uh, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and uh, let's get to the video so today we're going to do a house tour a bed sitter house tour or a studio apartment tour and uh this is the entryway so basically when you enter into the house you can see everything it's a bed sitter so <laughs> welcome home let's get through the details So from the doorway, we just have the door, of course, and um, the window is just closed to the door and the lighting that comes into this house, guys, it's amazing, bellissimo. So <laughs> we have the door and the window and we have curtain rods that run all the way from the door to the window. And uh, on the curtain rods, we have shears and these beige curtains that I got from a local shop. So the curtains and the shears run from the top <laughs> to the bottom. And trust me, they do not kiss. Unfortunately, they do not kiss the floor. <laughs> they hug the floor. I got the measurements wrong. So the curtains became longer, but they're still pretty. So I have white shares and the beige curtains that kind of match the walls. The walls are cream. So that's just the entryway. And down there we have a small cute mat that I got from Mtumba. It's pretty. It's uh, minimalistic and um, it's blue. So it matches my couch. So that's it for the doorway. Do you believe me? So next to the door, we have uh, some decors, wall decors. And the first decor is this floating shelf that I made. And then we have that mze, Masai mze, I got from Quick Parts. And then this plant that has really <laughs> tried to put, uh, to put up with me. It dies, then it grows. I mean, it's ups and downs with you. But it's fine. It's pretty. So then we have these mirrors that I got from Kilimo. And uh, they just stick on the wall kind of decor. And uh, they look amazing. And they give some kind of a reflective vibe into the house. Then we have these... Um, can uh, is it a painting or is it a canvas? I don't know. It's a painting that I got from a hawker in the streets, and I was in love with this picture. I don't know why, but it just looking at it gives me some African feeling of being home and uh, the pride of being an Africa and all that. So that it's that is it for that wall. So just some minimalistic decor because. The walls are small, obviously, and we don't have to, we don't want to get that clustered feeling. So just minimal de decorations for the house and that's it. Then below there, next to the door, we have my couch. So that's the sitting area situation. I got this couch from my fundi. And uh, long story short, this couch has been made by two fundis story for another day but the fundi hood and the final touches um it's amazing so that's the couch blue in color we have some throw pillows that i thrifted the white one i got it from dr mattress but the pillow cover i got it from the streets then we have this throw blanket from the streets obviously um tumba nikisema streets na manisha mtumba so uh, the blue white situation going on there so the theme for my house is blue and white because that is my favorite color and why not 
So for, for the table, I don't have a table. Again, the house is small. So we need minimalistic furnitures and the decors. So I have this stool that serves as a table because I didn't want to fill up all this space. Obviously, it can fit a table, but it would be so packed up. No room for breathing, movement, and all that. So we have that uh, stool and also the white uh, fluffy carpet that I got from the streets again. Then behind the shears, we have a mirror. There's nowhere else, nowhere else I I had to put a mirror. I love looking at myself from the perspective of natural light. So if I had placed the mirror elsewhere, it would not have given me that feeling. So I just placed it behind the shears. Then next to the window, there is my ring light, my small ring light. I'm manifesting a bigger one. My birthday is coming up. Then uh, we have my fridge, my teeny tiny fridge. And don't come at me, guys. It's a bit sitter, so you will find anything anywhere. So the fridge is in the sitting room, yes. And on top of the fridge, we have an artificial flower, the sunflower, and an, a real plant, the one that is in the white jug. The white jug is the vase, so Mrs. is here. So that is my plant there. I really, really love plants. I don't know where the love comes from, but... I love nature, so I always bring nature next to me. So that's another plant. That is my favorite plant. It really thrives. Whether I water it or not, it doesn't care. It just thrives. And another floating shelf that I made. I'm so proud, you know. I made that floating shelf. So let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to, to learn how to make your own floating shelf, and I'm going to show you. So yeah, pimp up your place. It make it changes the whole vibe of the house. Next to the plant, it's me. Let's take a moment and appreciate. Okay, that was a gift that I got for my graduation. And it's so pretty. I mean, that was the best day of my life. When I got my degree, so it stays, it stays there on top. Yes. Then the entertainment area, we have my TV. And of course, the wall. What is it called? Yes, the video that is playing. I had to look for it for YouTube purposes. The things I do for you guys. Anyways, that's my TV. On top of a TV stand that I custom made from my fundi. And we have some notebooks uh, right there. The remote, the decoder, etc. So I got this uh, TV stand custom made because the space was so tiny. I really needed something that could just fit on that particular place. So I called my fundi. He took the measurements and uh, brought it perfect. So, um, the TV stand holds the woofer, and then there is the laptop, the keyboard. My laptop is spoiled, so I had to buy an external keyboard. Then there is that water bottle and a mini dispenser. It's electric, by the way, and I got it from Kilimo. Kilimo, please sponsor your girl. Like, come on, I buy everything from Kilimo. <laughs> So, again, my white mat with some gray thing going on their patches. So, it fits the whole vibe. The TV stand is white, as you can see. So, from the entertainment area, it's my favorite part of the house, the kitchen. And one thing I loved about this house is the fact that the kitchen is separate. So, you can only see a part of the kitchen from the sitting area. So, and that's just the entryway and the sink area. So you can't see the whole kitchen. So it, it actually makes the whole house bigger and I get more space for myself when I'm making my videos um, in the kitchen. So from the entryway, we have my tabletop oven. That is, is it, is it 20 liters? Yeah, 20 liters. I got it from Kilimall. 
emphasis on Kilimo and that standard um I don't know where I got it. Oh in campus. I got it in campus. So we have the sink area. The working surface is tiny, but it works for a bed sitter, for one person. It really does work and we have some storage down there where I have my flour, um rice and etc. Then on top of the sink we have my pan, nonstick and the nonstick spoons, uh, st stainless steel spoons and everything that I need for cooking. So that's it for the sink area. Then next to the sink area, we have this basin that I have. I store all my onions and then a bucket that stores extra water. So water runs 24-7, but there are some occasions where they might like close it down so that they can maybe pump. So, and maybe that's the time I'm running maybe late for something and I need to may maybe shower or make something so I have extra water. So there's this kitchen table that has my cooking pots, uh, pressure cooker, potatoes, etc. Then, this is where you guys met me, majority of you. This is where we make our videos. This is where we have a lot of fun. So this tab uh, tabletop, what? Banner, two banner. I got it from Kilimo again. So Kilimo, you guys, tag Kilimo, tag them. So next to my cooker, we have a jug that has all my cooking sticks. Kunakinu pale, chopping board, and three-tire utensil rack that I got from Kilimo. You guys, I'm shook. So yeah, that is my utensil racks with all my utensils. I don't have a, I have any other utensils. Those are the all utensils I have. Then my favorite pantry. This is where we have all the spices we need when we're making videos or when I'm making something for my tummy. On the right, we have all the spices. And on the left, we have kitchen is i mean breakfast is essentials blue bad bread like everything to spread mm, tea bags it is in then on top there we have cereals milk powder blender and extra shopping then on the topmost part sorry um is the cereals no on topmost part on the topmost part we i on the topmost part we have all the cartons that I need to store things when I'm packing and I'm leaving. So that's it for the kitchen. It's tiny, workable, but pretty. So back to the doorway. Um, so that you can see my sleeping situation, my bedroom clearly. So that's the bed. We have this two stand net that I got from Kilimo. And uh, the biggest hassle was assembling this thing. The manual was in Chinese. It took me three days to like assemble the whole thing. But it turns out, it turned out amazing. It's white and some blue. Then at the back of the sh uh, of the net, we have some cabinet storage area that I have that I store all my clothes. And I love the fact that the net covered the whole thing up. So from the sitting area, you can't see my clothes other than the coats that are hanging there. So this is the bed. Again, the theme is blue and white. Then we have that deco that I made myself using yarn. I got just a blue yarn and a white yarn and I just made that masterpiece. So we have, uh, my bed doesn't have a headboard. It's an old bed. The pillows make it look better. So I have five pillows. The first two I got from Dr. Mattress and the three I thrifted. Then we have this duvet cover that my friend... Yambu bought from Mutumba. She knows my colors and she was like, girl, I know you love this. So thanks, babe. Thanks. Then we have this uh, part where I hang all my coats, my blazers, um, 
yeah everything so on top we have the clothes that i'm not going to show you because they are hidden and i cannot get on top of the bed to show you that i mean it's just clothes right so that's the bed area close to the bed we have uh, my shoe rack that was also custom made by my fundi so this rack it fits so perfectly that it even gave this room an illusion of a corridor like hmm? so yeah on top of the shoe rack we have all my bags and this other snake plant that is was dying then it started sprouting so we have all the bugs on top. I don't have many bugs. And out of these bugs, I think I normally carry one or two frequently. Then we have some towels at the end there. Then on the far, on the second rack, we have all my heels. I don't have much. I'm not a shoe person, but I'm trying to be. Then on the third one, we have some boots and some few sneakers and this pair of heels that i haven't worn in close to two years yeah i'm always saying that i will take it out for photo shoot i have never gone for photo shoot so yeah so more sneakers and some dolly shoes that i also barely wear for some reason that i'm not aware of then there's this crochet needle that i don't know how it got there but anyways and that iron box Niliwambia kwa Bezita kila kitu itakuwa kila mahali. So, nimeshindwa kuweka hiyo hiyo iron box elsewhere. So, on the bottom rack we have all my sandals. I love sandals because they're so comfy. Then at the end of there we have my basins. The bathroom is so tiny, so that is the only place that works. So, we have more storage shelves here that has all my oils, my hair um hair products, uh toothpaste, toothbrush, etc and uh earrings. And uh, that is just um, outside the bathroom. On top there, we have the cabinet I was talking about, my mannequin, and all that. Then there's this satin rub that I placed there for convenience, you know, so that I can grab it whenever I want. And then we have a mirror there. So there's nothing much in the bathroom. It's tiny, doesn't have the best finishing, but it works. So we have another floating shelf that I made. I have to insist on them. I made because I'm proud. Uh, so on the floating shelf, we have all the bathroom essentials. And then we have um, a tissue holder there. You see, the bathroom is just basic and it's tiny. So just basic. A towel on a towel rack that I got from Kilimo. So basic things in the bathroom, not much. So basically that's it for the house i mean it's not so big but it's not so tiny either um it's one place i've created the most memories i entered this house with very few things like with the bed the i didn't come into this house with that couch with the shoe rug with the tv stand the fridge like i've bought almost everything i own in this house so i would say it's a place i have really grown like i've seen my growth i've been able to fill up the space i think i'm going to attach the before pictures at the end so don't skip so that you can see how i began this journey and let me know in the comment section below what you think um what you would you you would have arranged better or in a different place so thanks for watching guys give this video a thumbs up 
and i'll see you on the next video enjoy the before images goodbye